Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I have a collective message for you. But before we dive in, I have some exciting news. Our friends at Eat Read Love have created the Goddess Energy Bracelet. This bracelet is designed to tap into your Goddess energy and personal power. When I first put this bracelet on, I was amazed. I felt the energy immediately. It was so powerful. It felt like I had cleared my energy and done 10 meditations at once. I was truly shocked. Now, look at how pretty it is. The bracelet is elegant and gorgeous. The camera doesn't do it justice. It's made of cherry quartz, which restores your life force energy. This bracelet isn't just beautiful, it's also incredibly powerful. So, if you want to tap into your inner goddess and feel a boost of energy, this bracelet is perfect for you. It also boosts your confidence and wipes away insecurities. It raises your vibration and keeps you grounded and centered. The bracelet also has rose quartz, known as the love crystal. This stone promotes healthy relationships, brings love into your life, and restores all your relationships. It's also the stone of beauty and purity, healing your heart chakra. The bracelet is made with 10 karat gold. Gold has powerful spiritual properties. It's a symbol of wealth and attracts abundance and money. Gold also repels negative energy and keeps your aura in check. I also want to mention the Wealth Bracelet from Eat Red Love, called the Mega Wealth Lucky Bracelet. It's stunning. When I put it on, I felt its power instantly. I didn't expect it to be this strong. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I have a special message for you. But first, I have some exciting news. Our friends at Eat Read Love have created the Goddess Energy Bracelet. This bracelet helps you tap into your Goddess Energy and personal power. When I put it on, I felt the energy right away. It felt like I had cleared my energy and done 10 meditations. It was amazing. This bracelet is not only powerful, but also beautiful. It's made of cherry quartz, which restores your life force energy. It boosts your confidence and wipes away insecurities. It raises your vibration and keeps you grounded. The bracelet also has rose quartz, known as the love crystal. This stone promotes healthy relationships, brings love into your life, and heals your heart chakra. The bracelet is also made with 10 karat gold. Gold has strong spiritual properties. It attracts wealth and abundance and repels negative energy. It keeps your aura in check. I also want to tell you about the wealth bracelet from Eat Red Love, called the Mega Wealth Lucky Bracelet. It's stunning. When I put it on, I had the best financial day I've had in a long time. I manifested thousands of dollars that day. Now, I never take it off. I highly recommend getting both bracelets. The best part? Our friends at Eat Read Love are giving you 10% off with the code GODDESS. Click the link below to get your Goddess Bracelet and the Wealth Bracelet. They are so powerful. Use the code GODDESS for 10% off. It's 4.04 on the timer, so let's get into the reading. I keep hearing the song Firestone by Kaiko. Go check out the lyrics if you haven't heard it. There's a strong message coming through. There's someone in your life with whom you share a strong connection. You both feel very intimidated by each other. You might not realize it, but you're picking up on their energy on a telepathic level. 
You might sense that you have a telepathic connection with this person, but you may not know that you're constantly picking up on their energy. You feel this intimidation, but it's not yours, it's theirs. You think you're intimidated by them because you're actually feeling their intimidation of you. It's important to identify your own energy in these connections. This feels like a divine counterpart, maybe a twin flame or soulmate. Whatever you want to call it, it's definitely a divine connection where you're sensing their energy telepathically. You need to identify your own emotions and feelings in this connection. It might feel like you're matching their energy, maybe even doing it on purpose. There's a lot of triggering happening here. You're triggering this person's emotions and heart, while their ego is triggering you. This person stands in their ego as a form of protection. They're very logical and almost defensive. They're impulsive and don't really think before they speak or act. They're very spontaneous in protecting themselves and are intimidated by you because you bring out their emotions. Emotions overwhelm this person. They tend to run away from their feelings. When you bring up their emotions, they run away from you. Every time you're around this person, they trigger you. They come off as very egotistic and guarded. But you also trigger them because you open up their emotions and heart. Both of you have strong emotions for each other, but you won't speak to each other. You avoid each other because of the intimidation. This person takes you out of your comfort zone and triggers your ego. You also take them out of their element and they don't feel comfortable. They are very sensitive to your energy. You wouldn't believe how much they are affected by you. If they even think about you, they can't stop. If they see you, they can't stop thinking about you. They're almost consumed by you. Your energy is very paralyzing to them. They can't move or think straight when it comes to you. Here's the thing, you are a guiding light for this person. This has been coming up a lot in my readings lately. You are guiding them on a spiritual level. Whoever I'm speaking to right now, you are the one with the guidance. You are the one tapped into your intuition and you understand this connection on a deeper level. You are a guiding light for this person because they know they need to change, but they don't know how. There's a cycle where no one's communicating or speaking because you're both intimidated by each other. But you, the one watching this, know better on an intuitive level. You know that matching their energy, not speaking, and not letting them in is wrong. Your intuition tells you to hold space for this person and to guide them. But what happens is this person triggers your ego. They come in with a big ego and you end up triggering their ego too. It's like a complex dance where you're both pushing each other's buttons. You're meant to help them have an ego shift, but they also make your ego flare up. You're supposed to rise above this. You know better. You're very intuitive and in touch with your feelings. This message might not be for everyone. If it resonates with you, you'll know. You need to break this cycle. You understand the situation better now. They, however, are stuck in their ego. They want to change, but they don't know how. Right now, they're stuck in a tough place. They've been praying for help, hoping for some guidance. But without talking things out, nothing will change. You two keep getting pulled back to each other, but nothing gets better because both of you are too intimidated to make the first move. This person is feeling very low. They're struggling and stuck. They've been asking for help and seeking answers. 
that's where you come in. You are spiritually enlightened, almost like a spiritual teacher. In this situation, you're like the high priest, showing them the way. You have a special role here. If this message feels right to you, it means you're the one guiding this person. You are meant to help them see things differently and grow. You understand the deeper, spiritual side of things. Your role is to be their teacher and guide, helping them find their way. So, there's a big problem with talking things through. If you know this message is for you, it's time to stop this cycle. Matching this person's stubbornness won't help. They might be a Taurus, who are known for being very stubborn. You might also be stubborn, or maybe you're a Taurus too. Right now, both of your egos are clashing. It's like a constant battle between the two of you. This fight isn't leading anywhere good. The lack of talking is making things worse. You both feel alone and abandoned, like you're missing each other. This person can get very aggressive. Their anger or frustration might show up strongly. You both need to break this cycle and find a better way to communicate. This person won't talk. They're angry at themselves and everyone around them for no clear reason. They're hiding their feelings and feel trapped. They keep running into you or getting signs about you because they need your help. You can teach them and guide them. Even though they're being pulled toward you, you might also feel intimidated by them. You both have strong feelings for each other. When feelings are intense, people often feel nervous. It's common to feel intimidated by someone you care about or really like. You might notice this person acting like they don't care about anyone else. They might seem indifferent or detached, and you might sometimes feel the same way. But when it comes to the two of you, there's a strong pull. You're both drawn to each other, but neither of you is taking action. You're not even talking, and it's causing both of you a lot of frustration. What's really intense is that you both are obsessed with each other. This connection feels overwhelming and powerful. Even though you both have these strong feelings, nothing is moving forward. You're both stuck. Here's the thing. You're matching their energy when you know you shouldn't be. You're actually the one who can help inspire this person to change. You are a guide for them, and they are drawn to you for a reason. I'm speaking to someone who has a strong spiritual presence, like a high priest or high priestess. You understand your purpose and have a deep spiritual insight. It's completely normal to feel this way. If this sounds like you, don't worry. It's completely normal. Here's what's happening. This person is pushing your buttons and triggering your ego. It's a natural reaction. You might be feeling stubborn and confused, but you're also very intuitive. This person is making you question your confidence. There's a lot of fear and confusion around this connection. Neither of you is making the first move. It's like you're both stuck. This person is confused and unsure. They're not as in touch with their intuition as you are. They get a lot of dreams and signs about you, but still feel lost about what's happening. Meanwhile, you understand this connection on a deeper level. You know what it is and how important it is. You need to end this cycle. If you don't, nothing will ever change. This person is scared and anxious. They might even feel paranoid or panic a lot. They're also very intimidated by you. If neither of you makes a move, this person might leave your life. 
you their chance to grow and change. They're drawn to you for guidance, but nothing happens because neither of you will act. Both of you are stuck, and your egos are clashing. You both need to drop your pride. Stop matching each other's stubbornness. Break the cycle. Otherwise, nothing will change, and you might miss your chance to help each other. But you don't want to just copy this person's behavior. You need to stay in your own positive energy and help them match your energy. You're here to help them change. If you're not interested in helping them, that's okay. This message isn't for you. But if you feel that your soul's purpose is to help others, then you are like an earth angel or a chosen one. Even if this person has hurt you, they still need your help. You have compassion in your heart and can guide them. If this message makes you angry or you think, I don't want to help them, then it's not meant for you. There's strong Capricorn energy here. So here's the deal. There's a lot of Libra energy here, meaning balance and harmony are needed. This person is looking for a sign or a chance to talk to you. They want to open up, but are too scared. They're very guarded and feel stuck. They've been asking for help and keep getting pulled toward you. You can help them, but they're taking their time to speak up. You have the power to change this cycle, Michelle. You can shift things and bring in the change needed. You're intuitive and can guide them if you choose to. Trust your instincts and stay strong in your high vibe. If this resonates with you, remember, you have the ability to make a difference. You have the power to stay confident and not fall into their low energy. Even though this person is bringing a lot of confusion and fear, you can remain strong and true to yourself. You are the one with strong intuition and spiritual insight. You need to approach this situation from your best, most healed self. Don't get caught up in their drama or match their low vibes. Instead, stay in your high vibrational energy. When you do this, you become an inspiration for them to let go of their ego. If you lower yourself to their level, it's like your egos are clashing and creating more problems. But if you keep your energy high, you encourage them to make positive changes. This reading is deep and may feel intense. If you need to take a moment to breathe or think, do so. That's all I have for you right now.